section 1 uh, can you describe this street where you live in uh, currently my street something looks like a uh, a four lane street wherein we have bicycles parked around and also uh, there are many cars on the sides which are which are currently parked apart from the uh, apart from the cars uh, the street has also a guard room uh, and also some plants and uh, trees surrounding the nearby area what kinds of things can make a good neighborhood uh, good. In order to make a good neighborhood, uh, the, the, the neighbors who are living in and around should be friendly and uh, they should uh, meet a, on a regular basis. Apart from that, they should be, uh, they should be, uh, they should, they should inculcate in uh, the, uh, uh, they, they should also uh, meet on a daily basis and uh, share, share their feelings and uh, uh, and spend some spend some time with the people around. What things are important in a neighborhood for bringing up children? Uh, the, that, that's an interesting question. Uh, in order to bring up a, uh, in in order to bring up children, the neighborhood should the, the, the there there should be many uh, things which should be considered. Uh, one is the one, one is the kind of atmosphere they are living in. Uh, apart from that, uh, the, the neighbor should be friendly enough to uh, to welcome the uh, welcome these children, and also there should be enough space for children to play in and around the area. Okay. Now let's move on to the topic older people. So your first question is: At what age do people retire in your country? Uh, usually the retirement age is around 60 years for uh, government companies but in usually in private companies the, the retirement age is uh, currently at 55 uh, but in in the, in the in the in the other parts of the country such as united states uh, people usually work for more than 65 years or 70 years because the lifespan of those countries are actually much higher than what we currently have in india okay what are some of the things in your country that retired people like to do with their spare time? Uh, the retired old people usually uh, tend to spend their time uh, doing farming and also gardening. Apart from that, they usually have a side business wherein uh, side business wherein they uh, do online businesses. Uh, if if that is not feasible, some some uh, elder people uh, try to spend time doing nothing, uh, just uh, walking around and uh, trying to stay healthy and fit. Does your country have specialized retirement homes for the elderly? Uh, yes, there are actually a numerous number of uh, old care ho old age homes in my country. Uh, so such as uh, such as uh, recently a. Uh, uh, mission was organized by Narendra Modi, who is the Prime Minister of India. Uh, so, uh, so basically, that particular program inculcates many people uh, to uh, to uh, to um, uh, to let their uh, old people uh, stay at their old old age homes. Okay. How does the government in your country support older people? Uh, there, there are numerous ways in, our, in which our government supports the old people. One is they provide pension schemes. Uh, apart from them, apart from that, they also provide some kind of monthly amount uh, or monthly, uh, 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 you can say, uh, food food supply, wherein pe people do not have to go out and buy. It. They could be delivered at the home itself. Okay. Now this is the end of part one. Let's go to part two. I would give you a topic and you need to describe the topic for one to two minutes and you will get one minute to prepare. So your topic is, sure. describe the first computer you owned. You should say what kind of computer it was, when you got it, what types of things you used it for and explain how using a computer changed your life in any way. Okay. 
Our third uh, third uh, topic was what type of uh, things what you used to do. What types of things you used it for? Okay. Okay. So your preparation time starts now. Shall we start? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, I love computers. Uh, whenever I have ample amount of free time, I tend to spend uh, my most of the time in front of computers. Uh, I usually tend I usually tend to spend around uh, twelve to twelve twelve to fourteen hours a day in front of the computer. So the 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 one the one. Computer which I recently got was of HP brand, which is silver in color, and uh, this particular computer uh, was given to be my uh, by my sister, who uh, who currently stays in the United States. So she bought this particular uh, computer when uh, she was working uh, working in a multinational company, and also uh, it it was bought during the uh, Thanksgiving sale. So this particular computer has a lot of features, such as it has one TB hard disk. It has backlight and it also has uh, many cool features such as uh, 750 uh, 750 GB hard uh, uh, graphics card also. The other major feature of this particular laptop is that it is a touchscreen laptop, so I can always use it for. Uh, it, it is very easy to use and convenient convenient to use. So this particular. A uh, laptop is being used by many ways by me, such as watching movies and playing games, and also apart from that, I usually use it for uh, use it for my office work. Sometimes whenever my laptop is not available, so I particularly use this computer for my office uh, work also. Uh, so I have usually I have watched around uh, eight fifty hours of uh, approximately eight fifty hours of uh, uh, lap, uh, movies on this particular lap in this particular laptop, and I tend to uh, tend to watch many more of movies in this particular laptop this uh, during this during this recent covid 19 pandemic uh, with, without this laptop i would have been uh, lost completely lost but uh, with this with the help of this laptop i was actually tend to uh, spend more time uh, with this laptop and uh, also apart from that uh, the one more one more uh, interesting thing is that uh, i have uh, I, this this particular laptop had a uh, a feature which was unknown to me till now recently but uh, but uh, i recently came to know that this uh, laptop is uh, tiltable till 360 degrees so you can use it uh, any way or you can while, while sleeping or while you can uh, while lying down you can use this particular laptop in any way uh, apart but apart from that i completely like this laptop and that's it okay so this is the end of our part 2 now let's proceed to part 3 here I would ask you some questions related to your topic and you need to answer them. So your topic is the internet. What are some of the advantages and disadvantages of modern access to the internet? Uh, uh, if if we see uh, 10 10 to 15 years from now there was no internet uh, and there was a uh, there was speed which was uh, there was not ample amount of speed which was uh, in the internet with the advancement of technology and also the adv advancement of internet and fiber optical cables uh, the, the internet speed has drastically changed and uh, the speed which we usually get is more than 200 mbps per second these days which has become a which has become a major role change for all the people across india okay do you think people spend too long on the internet 
Well, definitely yes. Uh, taking my case and as an example, I tend to spend around four to five days uh, on the internet. So uh, using the using internet, I I use internet in many ways, such as using you watching YouTube videos, uh, on conversing people, conversing with people uh, on the WhatsApp and Instagram. Apart from that, I use internet for my office work and uh, also for uh, watching some educational videos. So people in India usually tend to spend more than two to three hours watching uh, using internet. What dangers are involved in using the internet? Uh, well, definitely there's a lot of danger involved, such as uh, a person who is using the internet can get us get his or her system hacked by a anonymous hacker who would, who might be sitting in some other other continent. Apart from that, there would be some ma malware activities which be, which be, which can be happened around uh, happening around your sys backend system, and uh, also it would it is actually dangerous for the small children who are using internet such as such as there would be some uh, fallacious or, um, uh, or uh, some kind of obscene material which can be displayed on the internet whenever they search it. So there should always be an uh, parents eye on the, the parents should always keep an eye on their children whenever they tend to uh, browse on the internet. Okay. How do you think life with the internet will change over the next 20 years? Uh, with this uh, recent COVID-19 pandemic, uh, internet, ha internet has become the new normal. People across all the all over the world have started using to starting to do work from home. And with, uh, with the advent of technology, as I previously mentioned, internet has changed completely a lot. Uh, so uh, going forward, uh, if we see, if we look, if we look after five five to ten years from now. Internet will take it uh, will totally be uh, totally be replaced. Internet cannot be replaced, and uh, the televisions and newspapers all will become obsolete, and internet will totally be taken over by them. Okay, so this is the end of your speaking test for today, and now I would like to give you some feedback. Okay, uh, so first of all, we were about to describe the street you live in. So actually you need to describe the exact, you know, the vision that you see. Is the okay. street of, uh, you live in Delhi, right? Yeah. yeah. If I take Karol Bagh, the streets mm -hmm. of Karol Bagh, then I can say that uh, the Karol Bagh streets, they contain many hotels and restaurants mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the whole street is filled with the vendors of street shopping. Yes, so it is actually I'm describing it as a street shopping place, right? Okay. The place yeah. where you live is actually a residential area. Yeah. So the first answer that you should have given is that it is a residential area. My okay. street contains lot many societies and mm -hmm. it is not a place uh, uh, which is ideal for the office or which is ideal for any other activities other than the residential area. So this is the first okay. part that you can explain. And then you can say that there is a place where people park their cars. There's a big ground. So it's a common ground given for uh, many societies where the society members can park their car. So my street also involves a big ground. And it also mm -hmm. involves an, another ground, specially for children to play around. Okay. Right? So this mm -hmm. is the perfect answer, actually, because you have to describe the street. What do you have street. in your street? Okay. Right? Perfect. Okay. Next is, okay, in case if I consider my street. So my street mm -hmm. is actually located at a place where it is a residential area but it also has many shops the uh, shops which are related to routine uh, uh, daily uh, uh, things that i need and uh, uh, it's really good for me that in case if i just go out of my society i get all things which is required uh, uh, for my day-to-day -day life so that is something okay. different which is related to my street okay next is uh, what kinds of things can make a good neighborhood okay again a good neighborhood is like you need good well-maintained so uh, societies nearby you need obviously good uh, neighbors who neighbors. cooperate with the other people and they think for the well-being of their society as well as the well-being of the other society members as well 
right yeah. so uh, uh, we need good members who inculcate inculcate themselves and who give time to uh, uh, bring the societies to the best level and especially during the pandemic time of covid 19 we all society members have to be together and we need these kind of society members so this actually makes a good neighborhood you can yeah. give that example right okay, okay. right next is what things are important in a neighborhood for bringing up children okay so um, a, a neighborhood especially to bring up children can have a playground where children mm-hmm. can play freely and the main thing is this playground must be um, uh, maintained properly it should be cleaned okay. again and again often and often the cleaning process should be done because it is related to children and children are the uh, most prone to diseases and uh, uh, we also have to uh, keep a track on their health as well so the first part is cleaning the playground and then even uh, in that playground there can be an another section for smaller children who do not utilize yeah. the playground but they just utilize that particular children area and they play uh, there uh, there can be a seesaw there can be a swing or there can be some other uh, playing things where smaller yeah. children can uh, keep themselves busy right busy. okay the other thing is again the uh, neighborhood can also allow different uh, activity uh, uh, makers you know there are activity mm-hmm. makers who hire a shop and they actually uh, produce different activities for smaller children or produce activities according to the age okay got it yeah no problem so uh, we can you know give some more examples that uh, uh, we can allow different activity makers or we can allow different um, uh, education providers so okay. that our children can be also benefited with the education part as well it is not only the playing part or the uh, activity part but also the education part as well so this also you can add right yeah. okay let's come to older people it uh, the first question was at what age do people retire in your country here you described about your country and you also described about united states which is not necessary why because yeah. see uh, it is actually said that you should not pinpoint to any country or to the direct example you okay. can give your own example that is you take you as an yeah. example that's okay right okay. but you should not pinpoint any country or any person or any other activity directly okay right okay. so you can say mm-hmm. that in my country the retirement age is 60 years which is declared mm-hmm. by the government but generally people also uh, uh, tend to work more and they mm-hmm. get retired by the age of 65 so after mm-hmm. 65 age people are not allowed to work and mm-hmm. if i consider other countries and yes uh, many people they do work after the age of 65 so uh, okay. describing again describing only about my country the retirement age is of 60 years that's it okay finish okay. okay fine so here we have to be precise about our answer it's nothing okay. else okay next what are some of the things in your country that retired people like to do with their spare time so you can say they uh, like to meet their friends they like to spend time with their family uh, many yeah. older people uh, i have noticed that they take care of their grandchildren that is in case yeah. if their children yeah. in case if their children are working uh, and yeah. uh, uh, their children want the uh, older people to take care of their grandchildren they do it willingly Correct. because it is their best uh, passing time and uh, they yeah. do that the other people they also utilize their time in uh, uh, the health activities that is they go mm-hmm. out go for a walk um, even nowadays the older people are very much used to internet as well they surf mm-hmm. the mo- uh, mobile and they search for different um, uh, videos that are related to spiritual that are related to mm-hmm. you know uh, 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 something learning part so you can go with mm-hmm. that examples as well right okay. okay next does your country have specialized retirement homes for the elderly here you need to describe only about the old age homes 
and okay. nothing else right here uh, uh see immediately when you described about uh, the narendra modi's act that is taken place yeah. the question was there the next question was exactly the same what does the government do narendra modi okay. is the government so sometimes you know you get confused that the answer already you have given now what yeah. will you answer for the next question right okay exactly. so here you can just describe about the old age homes the old age homes are very uh, good with the facilities and uh, uh, the old age homes also provide places for the couples that is the elderly couples where husband and wife can stay together they also provide food the hygienic food and the government takes care that the older people or the old age home is getting the proper food supply every month this you can add okay. that's okay right okay okay next is how does it okay uh, even you can also say that the old age homes the uh, uh, managing committee of the old age home they also organize different activities for the elderly people like you know conducting yeah. games or conducting outdoor activities a small outdoor picnic activities. picnic is actually one day you can okay. also say a small excursion excursion is for 3 to 4 days 4 days right and also with the facilities with the other facilities that is the medical food and also health facilities they take care about each and every part of the uh, facility that is involved in taking care of the elderly people so you can add this as well okay sure. fine next is how does the government in your country support older people so pension schemes Schemes, right, yeah. and even you can say that there are many other retirement schemes that are mm -hmm. being specially uh, uh, ideal for targeted. the yes, okay. specially targeted for the elderly people, people. and uh, uh, these schemes are released by the government, and even the government makes sure that no elderly people suffer because of this, uh, uh, you know, a bad. a situation or without any food supply or without any other health facility you can add that okay okay next uh, describing the first computer you owned okay was this the first computer no okay so here you come again with the uh, you know the uh, what confusing part you have to describe about your first computer right let it be if it was a proper computer that is a desktop or you yeah, could have described good. about the personal computer or the computer that is a laptop that you have now that is the hp laptop which you have now mm -hmm. you could have made it as a first computer are you getting yeah, my point i tried making yeah yes. i tried making it but i was not getting much points to okay. say <laughs> so the starting was uh I wanted my first computer when I was in tenth standard, but my parents are really strict with uh, my parents were very strict with my educational part, and they did not want me to distract to some other activity, and that is why I did not get my first PC, that is the personal computer at that moment. But I received my first personal computer when my sister shifted to United States. She got her first job. in a multinational company and to reward me or to surprise me or to just give me something from her first earning she gave me this first personal computer that is it is a laptop and uh, it, the company is hp you can say that and then you can describe about it fe its features that uh, it is a, it has a graphics card it is this much memory the hard disk yeah. is that and all okay? okay so you should have started in that manner so this is something yeah. you know you wanted it when you went uh, in the 10th standard, standard but you did not get it because your parents were okay. very strict and your sister gifted you so it's a is a story that is coming story right exactly. okay and then you can describe it where you you know uh, you are using this particular using pc it. how you are using it you said that you at least use it for 14 to 15 hours uh, per day right so that is it also involves that is 14 to 15 hours i don't i don't keep on working i utilize some part of it uh, to watch a movie or i also hear some music and then i also work as currently due to pandemic uh, this has been a fruitful thing that my sister has gifted me that is uh, working from home obviously requires a pc 
a computer mm-hmm. and this is a blessing i feel from my sister that i've got this and it has become very easy for me to work from home it does not stop my work in any ways you can add these sentences you know yeah. because this is I actually was not showing this particular ha, lines yes this actually shows how important this pc is for you because mm-hmm. you're utilizing exactly. it for work right so yeah fine somewhere it was just not that this was not your first computer you did not describe it in that manner so yeah. uh, next time you make sure that let it be it is your second or third but make it the first one first one okay okay fine sure. next is um yes internet okay your first answer about some advantages and its what disadvantages of modern access that was good even you could have added it in a way that let me explain you first the advantages and then now coming to the disadvantages so you could have started the sentences in this manner right Perfect. so first you're describing the good part and then the negative part negative part also you know you you are giving it as a sweet sweet negative part right you're not again yeah. uh, blaming anyone about the uh, disadvantages right yeah. okay fine but the answer was good so i don't have to explain anything about that answer and uh, next is do you think people spend too long on the internet yes definitely that answer was also very good nowadays yes you could have described in a different manner that is taking the smaller children starting from the smaller children smaller to children. the elderly people nowadays are using internet a lot and okay. uh, due to this pandemic again coming to the pandemic covid pandemic. 19 people were locked at their places the internet has become a blessing for the smaller children for the young people mm-hmm. for the adults and also for the elderly people as uh, mm-hmm. the whole day it is difficult for them to watch different movies and that to the movies that they have watched over uh, uh, all uh, that is the before also and the uh, internet mm-hmm. somewhere has given them the facility to watch different videos not the same videos okay. but they can browse and surf for different videos different for different videos. content right and even uh, uh, this internet has also helped the children that is the school children and also college okay. children to learn their uh, daily activities through internet through online classes right so okay. yes definitely i would say that internet people spend a lot of time over internet and being locked out at home i don't think they have any other work to do so <laughs> right That's so you can give it yes okay next what dangers are involved in using the internet again here also i don't have to explain anything yes the answer was perfect uh, you described about the malfunction that can happen if the internet is used the whole time and even uh, people can take uh advantage of that particular thing okay you can also have added that people become addicted to internet you know sometimes yeah. people become addicted to playing games online or you know watching yeah. videos online using whatsapp or the other social media okay again yes you cannot use only the whatsapp take social media mm-hmm. platforms social right? media platform. people become yeah. addicted to social media platforms and there were many other um applications where the whole day people get involved in making videos and posting them so yes these are the dangers that are involved but if precautions taken these dangers can be uh, uh, kept aside and internet can can used only for enjoyment you can just add it and end it like this okay, okay. and next is how do you think life with the internet will change over the next 20 years this was also good that yes it can replace television and the other um, um, what we say the other enjoyment facilities that we have nowadays uh, it can replace and um, internet can take over where uh, internet is actually you cannot carry television everywhere but you can carry your mobile phones and uh, uh, the uh, what we say the uh, amazon stick we have the amazon yeah, stick right fire stick, yes fire you can stick. you don't have to describe the amazon but you can say you can carry the fire sticks anywhere you just need the yeah. internet and um, uh, with the help of internet it is possible uh, yeah. with any kind of uh, device you can use the internet yeah. with any kind of device and kind of device. you can uh, uh, enjoy the day or you can relax the day in any ways so yes obviously internet will be used more than the other devices i feel that's it okay. right okay 
So mm -hmm. if I consider today's test, so I think I'll give you six bands because uh, mm -hmm. if it is taken the uh, forty percent, you were very perfect in giving the answers. Sixty percent mm -hmm. somewhere you were going round and round, round and uh, the main part is the cue card. You crossed okay. almost two minutes and twenty seconds, so that's not allowed. Okay. You have to stick okay. to two minutes. It is uh, because we are training you, and that is why we don't stop you. But the examiners okay. will stop you at two minutes, right? Okay. So you have to make sure that again, clear all the questions first, and then go for the extra part. Okay. Right. Keep okay. All the all the yes. part of parts and then. Yes. Okay, so any question related to today's test, Ayush? No, uh, just one question I had was related to the uh, uh, related to the way I start in part one. So uh, I don't get sometimes as to how to start. So I use sometimes like well, uh, to be honest, and uh, yes. Uh, so, so are there any other ways where wherein I can start? No, I feel these are the best ways because, as I said. it shows that you are free in your speaking right okay. you are not behaving as a candidate and you are not letting the examiner to behave as an examiner it is just okay. that you are there to speak with the examiner and uh, yes the speaking topics are being decided by the examiner it is not you who is you know deciding the topics so uh, it's it's very good that you start with these parts it's good yes as i said okay. with some variations that you know we had advantages okay so advantages. let me just describe about the advantages first the first is go with the first one the second okay. is go with the second one and then uh, okay. now let us come to disadvantages so again now you're going with the second part okay. right so somewhere okay. you can change your attitude of speaking right okay. it is not necessary to be formal completely formal is not necessary you can be casual because again i would repeat that you are just there to speak with the examiner that's it okay fine today i felt somewhere the hesitation and the repetition part was less and again one more thing uh, when we were doing part 2 the word that i heard many times was tend t e n d tend tend so okay. yes so make sure that tend can be replaced with some other word you used okay. i think you used this word almost 7 to 8 times so that can also be a uh, you know a negative part for your getting the bands okay. so make okay. sure that you don't repeat that okay sure. and the last and final thing i am not an examiner i am just a trainer so what we do is we give you half a band less according to this yeah. part we give half a band less just to motivate okay. you that you try yeah. harder and harder and get at least eight bands where exactly. the examination at least you can cover your requirement exactly makes right? sense okay yeah. fine so let's meet tomorrow at the same time and we'll be with yeah. the next set of test sure definitely okay chalo okay yeah. thank bye -bye. you so much thank you bye -bye. goodbye goodbye